What's up everybody? Welcome to Gaming On Board. Tonight we're just going to be doing a quick unboxing. Pick this up at Barnes & Noble on the Red Dot 30% off sale. You should check it out and get a lot of great games for uh, really cheap that way. So uh, I picked up uh, World's Fair, 1893. So we're going to open it up and see what's inside. 1893 is designed by J. Alex Kevern. It was released by Foxtrot and Renegade Games. Two to four players, 40 minutes, ages 10 and up. And looks like the Dice Tower approves of it. Actually, they gave it a seal of excellency. It won of a, a Mensa Select Award. And this is Dog and Thimble. I'm not familiar with that, but um, there you go. This was all from last year. So this is not a brand new game. I'm sure you've heard of it. Um, here's the back of the box. Shows you some of the components. Let's see what's inside. Alright, so we got the instruction book right on top. I'd like to see that. Shows you the components, game set up, how the game should look when it's set up. Every game book should have that. Uh, the phases of play, an example of a turn, card references, scoring phase. I like how they have diagrams throughout. So if you notice on every page, there's some sort of diagram so you don't have to read it and then look at the components and try to figure it out into the game scoring and I guess that's pretty cool if this is real it looks like a map of the actual World's Fair in 1893 in Chicago that's a pretty cool little piece of uh, uh, flavor right there and then some words from the companies and the designer we got a little promotional item here. Lanterns is a cool game. Very simple and fun. Fuse, Kitty Paws, Bullfrog, Apotheca, World's Fair, Brick Party. Eh, flip the bird. Hmm, don't flip the bird. Covert. Uh, Gravwell is also great. I like that. There you go. Yeah, it looks like we got some tokens. All right, this is piece of the piece of the game board, and these little things, decent tokens. They're not they're not a uh, super thin or anything like that. Um, little metals here, also good thickness. And we got some more pieces of the game board. There you go. This is another piece of the game board. It extends or decreases the game length based on the number of players. Another piece of the game board. Some more tokens. So there's a lot of tokens. And here's the main game board piece. Also, good quality. Not cheap, not flimsy at all. And then cubes, lots of wooden cubes. Oh, there went one. And these are actually, I know they're just cubes, but they have like a gloss finish and they, they feel pretty, you know, dense. They're not just like lightweight. Sometimes you get really soft cubes and they usually have like a matte finish. These are, <laughs> speaking of cube quality. These are pretty good quality cubes. Um, then got some cards. Let's see what's let's take a look at some of them. So they all have the same back. And these aren't just crappy thin uh, paper cards either. These are if well, you can see it, you see that like a kind of like a canvas type weaving there. 
glossy, good cards. They're a little bit smaller than standard size. But, um, so these are the different areas on the board, it looks like. Yeah, there's agriculture, agriculture. So those correlate to those parts of the board, I guess, in some way. Okay. Sunny autumn day. So these were different exhibits. Yeah, these are different exhibits at the World Fair. Windmills. So there's electricity, agriculture, fine arts. So you got different fine arts exhibits, manufacturing exhibits, and transportation. Bicycles. And this this is cool, you know. I mean, if you're into um historical things you can actually sit here and read different things about the inventors and the items and then these are influential figures okay looks like something in these little corners means something so they must do something all right so good quality cards and then I assume that these, I'm just guessing that these are more of the same. Okay, so you got some player aids with actions. Okay, so each, all right, each player gets a starting bonus, and the later you go, the more you get, or something like that. And then this is also your player aid. Then, okay, so there's different scoring based on the number of players, it looks like. Two players, three players, four players. And how to go through scoring. Okay, that's nice. And then these must be more of the same. Yeah, so here's some more influ influential people. Um, these have got to mean something, but I'm not going through gameplay. Just the components. Um, and then these are the tickets. I do know what these do. So anytime you pick up one of these admit one tickets, you'll advance the play marker on the board. So that's kind of like a timer for the game. So those are that's everything that comes in World's Fair 1893. They're all quality components. Uh, nothing cheap here. And I'll just set this up so you can see what the board looks like when you're playing a full game let's see i have it on the three to four player side so i'll find just say we're playing a three player game yeah there we go so that's what it'll look like all set up and i'm sure there's uh something oh there we go i didn't show you that so these are all cubes, but there is one thing in here that's different. This is like a little Ferris wheel cart that hangs from it. And that's how you keep track of when the round's over. So when you pick up those admit one tickets, this gets moved around. And it comes back here. That's the end of a round. So there you go. World's Fair 1893. That's what it's going to look like when you have it set up to play. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like comment down below and share this video also subscribe to our youtube channel gaming on board and please check out gamingonboard.com we have links there to our facebook and instagram accounts and we do post daily so uh, as always thanks for watching and play all the games